Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to do a collaboration with myself, and I'm going to show you how to increase the speed of your iDevice significantly. Now, there are three methods that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today, and as some of you may remember, I did a video on how to do this a while back, but I didn't go as in-depth as I would have liked to, but now I'm going to go more into depth on that, and I'm going to give you an additional uh, thing that you can do to increase the RAM on your iDevice. So the first method is by deleting daemons. Now, daemons are little processes that start up with your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad that can be a little tricky because uh, a lot of them you don't need and you can disable them and so they don't start up along with your iDevice. But as soon as you, like, uh, for instance, open the phone or open uh, Safari, it'll start it up then. Uh, it just won't load as fast, but I definitely recommend disabling all the daemons you can because uh, it will increase uh, your RAM significantly. So in order to view that method, just click on the bubble. So now the second method would be to delete all useless language packs. So now language packs are basically just things for the keyboard, like uh, spelling corrections, like if you try and uh, spell senior, it'll fix it and it'll put a little squiggly thing over the N, or just different things like that. So by deleting all those useless language packs, you free up not only uh, disk space, but you also free up some RAM as well, and it makes your device a lot smoother. So I definitely recommend that. However, there is a trick to that. If you're on 4.0 or if you're on an iPad, because you'll have to actually manually install Terminal. So in order to go to that section where I show you how to get Terminal along with uh, disabling and deleting language packs, just click in the bubble and you'll be taken to that. Okay, so now the last one is somewhat harmful, but I definitely recommend it to everyone. It is a virtual memory mod, meaning it takes part of your uh, iDevice's hard disk and it uses that as RAM. It's similar to a paging file on your computer. So basically it just rewrites, rewrites over that. And supposedly most people say that uh, over five years it will ruin uh, part of your storage on your device but it hasn't really been proven so I doubt you're gonna have your device that long anyway so I definitely recommend that I wouldn't do that on the iPad though because I don't think it's tested with the iPad uh, I think that's only meant for the iPhone iPod touch but knock yourself out if you want to try it so now I just disabled everything that was running in the background I freed up the memory and I have about 50 to 51 megabytes of free memory, so just remember that, and uh, I'll show you what I have after. So now there are three different things that you can do, so there are three different bubbles. One would be disabling daemons. Two would be disabling uh, and deleting language packs. And the last one would be uh, virtual memory. So just click into the bubble that you want to go to, and you will be taken to that. This is the selection part, so obviously you can just select. So I hope you guys like this video. Hope you benefited from them. Uh, this is ICU signing out.